What's going on guys? In today's video, it's actually gonna be a super fast one, but super, super valuable, okay? Basically, I've been getting a lot of questions. People are like, you know, I'm, I'm targeting, you know, Facebook ads, my Facebook ads suck. Uh, I'm not getting results, I'm not getting sales, I'm getting some traffic, what do I do, right? And surprisingly, a lot of people don't realize this, okay? But first of all, first, first of all, okay? Facebook, other social media applications and whatnot, right? They're an auction-based platform, right? So typically, right, so like what you probably did um, or what most people do anyways, right, is they go in into their Facebook ads manager and when they're like picking, you know, interests and stuff, say we're just in here, right? And we're going like, ooh, you know, I'm selling like bracelets or hats. Like, I'm gonna move this real quick. I'm selling bracelets, hats, you know, what, what, what would, you know, my demographic be, right? And um, so you might go in to your ads manager and you'll literally just go fashion. And then you'll click, you know, I guess if we're selling shades or hats, you'd be like, Ooh, okay, I'm gonna scroll through these 25 interests because that's all Facebook's gonna show me. And uh, ooh, fashion accessories, okay, perfect. Over a billion people, awesome, you know? So you're gonna click that and you're gonna launch your ad, you know, sit back and Wait to make millions, right? That's what a lot of people do, but that's not what you're supposed to do. Because again, think about like, like just logically, right? Facebook is an auction-based platform, okay, for its advertisers. What does that mean? That literally means that, you know, like, like think about it. how many other people do you think that are selling hat shades, whatever, have typed in fashion accessories as one of their interests, okay? Because I did that too when I first started, okay? So it's not like I'm singling you guys out here. Like I literally did this and messed up. Yeah, so like how many people do you think did that, right? Every single person that, that uses that interest, right, you're, you're also competing with them. It's an auction-based platform because you're basically bidding, okay, your money, you're bidding against that to, to basically bid for their attention, bid for, you know, the people that are on Facebook and Instagram, bid for their attention to see your ad, okay? Because that's, that's what everything is. Business is all attention-based, okay? So when you're, you know, doing that, that that's, that's why, like, okay, your cost per purchase is stupidly high um, and you're just not getting a lot of clicks or a lot of traffic is because you're using interest that, like millions of other advertisers are using, thousands of other advertisers are using, okay? So what do you do to like go around that? Like what's what's the actual loophole? Well, there's a few little like secret tools that you can actually use, right? There's a free one, there's a paid one that I'm gonna show both. And just because, you know, the, you know, you gotta bootstrap it sometimes. So I'm gonna walk through the free one and show you guys the paid one. But either way, they both do the exact same thing, really. So yeah, let's do that. Let me just find it actually. So the first one we're gonna go to is interestexplorer.io, okay? Um, now this one is, I believe, the paid one, but it's not crazy expensive, especially if you're using a lot of advertising. But guys, th this is the thing, right? The what these tools do is, because like again, Facebook only shows you 25 interests when you search something in in that interest box, right? And the closest thing you can get to finding other interests, right? Because the key to it is finding untapped interests, finding different interests that there aren't a lot of people bidding on for your kind of product, um, the type of product you're selling, et cetera, right? So that's the key to it is like finding all these crazy different interests, right? Which you know, honestly, like for some of you watching this, this could be the difference between you making a wildly profitable campaign and not, okay? Um, besides your ad creative and a few other factors, like this is one of the biggest reasons, okay? What these tools do, right, is you can you can literally enter here. I'm, I'm gonna go to the free one as well, okay? But um, they both basically do the same thing. You type in an interest. So you could type in fashion accessories. So the free one is enginescout.au. I think. Oh, no, dot com, dot au. Right here, they have an interest hunter, right? It doesn't look that pretty, but it, it basically gets the job done. The only thing is, like, as this is a free tool, I don't know how updated it is or, you know, whether or not the owners actually continuously update it, but um, it, it basically does the same thing. You're, either way, you're going to find a bunch of different interests. Basically, again, with this free tool, I don't know how updated it is or how often the owners of the tool, like, update the interest and whatnot. Um, but either way, you'll be able to find different interests, okay? And that's the key to, like, you know, that's the main goal that, that you want to be doing right now, okay? So let's say, so, you know, for this example, we typed in fashion accessories, right? If we want to find other interests, let's just type in fashion and see what we get, okay? But here, okay, look at this. So there's, it's showing 312 different entries, okay? Now, and it's showing you their audience size and the actual topic, right? So we can go and scroll through all these things. It'll show us the, um, Show us the sizes of the interest um, and just different interests, okay? So like these are interests that you won't find, like Facebook's not going to show you these automatically if you just type in fashion um, in the ad, you know, ad creation process, right? You have to use some of these tools to actually be a little bit different so that when you're actually testing interests, you're actually testing like, you know, 10, 20 completely unique interests versus 10 interests that Facebook showed you that it shows everyone else that types in fashion, right? So again, that's the goal with this. Now, um, but with the paid one, guys, um, it does the exact same thing. Uh, it's just obviously more updated because the owners are um, 
you know, you're paying for it. And so they're, they're behind it. And I think their entire brand is just based on this one tool for this particular brand. Um, and it's a one-time fee. So it's not a monthly thing. It's really just a one-time fee. Um, and then you're in. I'll, I'll, link, I'll link both of them down in the description, guys. But um, again, that is the key. I just wanted to make this really quick video. I felt, I felt inspired um, <laughs> to, to, to make this just because, again, I had so many people DM me asking for Facebook ads help. And I'm just like, yo, like, okay, what, what are you targeting? And they're just like, iPhone. I'm like, iPhone, that, like, that's it. This is one of the, I'm not gonna say like secrets, but it's just not widely known. Um, again, like you, your product is important. Your ad creative is important, but then your interests are also very, very important. Okay. Like just again, like as a little like tip too, it's like, for example, if you're selling something soccer related, okay. Cause just, I played soccer, but if you're selling something soccer related, you can't just type in soccer as an interest on Facebook, okay? Because if you think about it, like Facebook, who are they going to put into that interest pool, right? Like, are they gonna put soccer players in there? Are they gonna put people that like recently went to a soccer game? Are they gonna put people that watch soccer? Are they gonna put, you know, like season ticket holders soccer? Like, it, it's a very broad spectrum, guys. This is why with interest, you need to have unique interest and just different interests and basically narrow it down enough. I'm not saying like shorten your audience size, but narrow the interests down enough where it gets, you know, you're, you're truly finding your demographic and truly targeting like your demographic and the people that you think are going to purchase your product, okay? And then obviously when you get purchased and stuff, you can make lookalikes and just do like no interest targeting and stuff like that, but that's more advanced stuff down the road, okay? But uh, again, guys, this is just a very quick video I wanted to make about interest and how to find some different ones um, just because so many of you guys are using the normal ones and just not diversifying, which is one of the reasons why you're not seeing success with your ads. Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, guys, um, and please subscribe. I'm trying to grind out these videos for y'all. Um, honestly, just because they're fun and just like I enjoy making making content. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. You can DM me on Instagram as well. I'll have these two links down in the description. And then um, the program is also linked down in the description, guys. That we're, we're revamping right now. I don't know if I'm gonna increase the price to like 497 down the road. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet, but the new one's going to launch right after New Year's, guys. And then um, if you do want us to literally make you a custom site and find you products so that all you have to worry about is the marketing side of things, then you know that'll also be linked down in the description as well. With that too, guys, we actually give you a bunch of interests that you can target to. Like with the whole website thing is like, I, I really want to make sure that like you have the highest chance of success as possible. So like we make the website for you, we find a bunch of winning products for you. Um, but then on top of that, right, we, we, like, I, we, I curate a PDF me and my team do that basically shows and proves to you that these products are winning products. We show you the competitors, we show you the competitors' ads, their ad copy, and potential interests that you can target, okay? So like we really try and put everything in your hand. If you want all of that, um, and you kind of want to skip that learning curve and just you know dive right into the marketing side of things and get started with that, um, that is also linked in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video, okay guys? Yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, take care, peace.